welcome to the Gigging Success Podcast. And now, here's your host, Brad Lazarus. Hello and welcome to the Gigging Success Podcast, where you'll discover the tactics and strategies of some of the world's most successful cover bands that'll help you fast track your way to more of those better paid gigs you deserve. So, welcome to the podcast. This week, uh, no guest. What I'm going to do, which I've done in a previous couple of podcasts, is just talk you through a recent blog post. Now, you'll be able to find this blog post on the website um, and we'll get straight into it and the uh, blog post is three reasons why wedding couples aren't responding to your emailed quotes and what to do about it now let's say you're rehearsed and ready to gig you've got a great promo video your website's looking good you're getting inquiries and emailing back quotes so why are so few couples getting back to you there's a few good and actually quite obvious reasons for this but first do you know your conversion rate? Now stick with me here because it's important. Your conversion rate is the percentage of people that make an inquiry about your band that then go on to book you. Now the majority of bands I speak with don't know what this number is, yet it's arguably the second most important number you need to know after the total number of bookings you get. So when I'm with one of my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients and we look a little deeper into the numbers, we'll discover, discover an average conversion rate of 10 to 15 percent. Now they always guess it's much higher than this, but I'm going to state the obvious here a bit, but it's worth it. That means that for every 20 leads or inquiries that you generate, less than two go on to book you. So think about the story behind those numbers. 20 people have been to your website, social media, spoken to a friend about you or seen you somewhere online. They liked what they saw and they took a minute or two out of their very busy day to either fill in the contact form on your website or pick up the phone and call you. Now, do you think you could do a little bit better than get less than two of them to book you? Well, yeah, you sure bet you can. And it's really not as hard as you might think. After all, they must have liked something about you to make the effort in inquiring about you in the first place. So before we look at some of the reasons why they aren't coming back to you, let's debunk the big myth that they know where you are and what you do and if they wanted to book you they'd have done it by now. Now in my experience this is simply just not true. Now let's look at some of the reasons why they aren't responding to your emails. Number one, they forgot they even made an inquiry. I know it seems ridiculous, but picture the scenario. Bride and groom have a wedding to-do list as long as your arm. One dull Wednesday night, they decide to sort out the band. They get online and start furiously Googling to find bands. They're immediately totally overwhelmed by the choice on offer. They pick a handful of bands they like the look of, fill in the contact form and hit submit. Then what? Then life gets in the way for them, that's what. They'll have forgotten they even requested a quote from you come the weekend. Okay, so you do the right thing and send a timely response back outlining what you can offer and what the price is. But they don't respond. Guess what? Life is still busy for them. Not only that, but they've got 10 other wedding suppliers to sort out as well. So whose job do you think it is to remind them that you exist and they liked what they saw in your band in the first place? Yep, it's you. Number two, it's in their spam folder. This is a massive problem that's only going to get worse. The majority of private clients that I deal with use a personal web-based email. You know the biggies like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. These providers are doing everything that they can to make sure your email doesn't get seen. Doesn't get seen means putting you in the spam folder. Now if your Gmail, the promotions folder, now, I don't know if you know the promotions folder, but if you get onto the blog, there's a link through to what the promotions folder looks like. So if you're not a Gmail user, you can go and have a look at that. I cannot tell you how many times I will send a quote, follow up two or three days later to check if they received it, only to be wet with a no. When I ask them to check their spam folder, almost 100% of the time it's in there. Email providers don't treat unknown emails kindly. It's your job to make sure your emailed quote gets read by the recipient. But how? Okay, so here's a bit of a ninja tip. Once you've sent, send a text to the prospect to let them know you've sent the quote. Now this is very important. In that text, tell them to look out for it in their email inbox and that it's coming from you. Use the exact name that they will see in the from column. Also tell them that they should check their spam folder if they don't see it in their inbox. So I hope that's clear. You're sending a t Once you've sent the quote, you're sending a text. In the text, you're alerting them to the fact that you've sent them 
an email and to go and check in their inbox and the email will come from your name or whoever it comes from it's the name of the band then go and then obviously let them know that number three you didn't give them a good enough reason to reply to you now this is always massively overlooked people are silently begging to be led this is a quote by the marketing legend Jay Abraham and it's one that I've pinned up on my wall and made sure it's now inside my DNA my kids will be using this line why have you ever had any work done on your house a loft conversion or extension for example if you've never done it before then it's a scary and daunting prospect in short you haven't got a clue what to expect what the process is and what the potential pitfalls are the majority of your prospective clients or at least the private ones have never booked a band before so to a greater or lesser extent they feel apprehensive and unsure about what to do next in fact it's why most ask how much you cost as their first question they just don't know what else to ask so how grateful do you think they'd be to have someone take them by the hand lead them gently towards the result they wanted while ensuring they feel comfortable safe and don't make the mistakes others have made answers obvious right so you need to come up with some offers that give your prospect a good reason to reply to your quote that isn't just a straight book us these offers need to lead your prospect along a path booking towards a booking with you booking a band is not a two-step process it's not step one make inquiry step two book band you know a lot of bands feel as though that is the case it's not that simple there are steps along the way that the prospect needs to go through think about how you can help them take each step the obvious ones are to invite them to a live show or send them a DVD you can take it to the next level and create a PDF guide that helps answer their FAQs and provides them with a useful resource creating these offers gives them a reason to respond to you and a reason for you to follow up with them so I hope this has given you something to think about and take action on everything you do while marketing your band should exist to help drive a higher level engagement with your prospect and bring them into your world by engaging them sending a quote on email and then sitting and waiting for a response is just not going to cut it these days you have to do more it's ultimately your job to remind them that you exist and that they liked your band enough to make an inquiry in the first place by following up on your initial quote, quote, you will not be seen as some kind of a pest. In fact, they'll even think they'll even thank you for taking time to remind them, which is I get a lot of the time. So then we move on to the amazing nine-word email that revives dead leads. Dead leads. Now this is a bit of an action step for you and something really simple that you can do. And this is an idea that I stole from another great marketer called Dean Jackson. It's the most simple yet effective thing you can do to revive any dead leads you currently have. These are leads which maybe are two months old, even a month old, that you've sent quotes to and yet you haven't heard back from. So firstly, collect up the leads from the last three to four months that haven't converted to bookings. Then send them all an email. In the subject line, put your first name. In the body of the email, write, hi, their first name. Are you looking for a band for you? Are you still looking for a band for your wedding? And then sign off with your name. So if it was me writing to Jenny, a bride, I'd say, Hi Jenny. Are you still uh, sorry in the subject line I'd put Jenny? Then in the body of the email I'd write, Hi Jenny, are you still looking for a band for your wedding? And then sign off Brad. Now the really important thing is here is you mustn't include anything else in that email. No signature, no sales pitch, no offers, just send that email. Now the response that I've had from this has been fantastic. Some people will tell you that they've booked, which is great. At least you now know and you can strike them off and move on. But others will tell you that they are still looking. Now that's your cue to start the conversation again. So I hope that little tip, that's really something that you can action. It should take you five, 10 minutes. Start with five, five to 10 leads and, and inquiries and see how, see how you go with that. So leave a comment. If you're back on the blog, come back, leave a comment. Let me know how you get on with that strategy. Um, and if you have any other reasons why you think prospects don't respond to your e emails, then then leave a comment below. Let me know. Let's see if we can kind of try and solve the problems together. Or I can give you some tips from my experience as well.
So I hope that's been useful. Um, if you haven't done so yet, um, please uh, email me with your thoughts. I'd love to get some feedback from you on this podcast, um, the way that we've structured the, the way that I've structured the the podcast here to read the blog post out. Any other future podcasts, you can go and uh, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just go into the iTunes store, search on Gigging Success, and you can go and subscribe there. Um, Feel free to go and download uh, our cover band essentials guide, which is at giggingsuccess.com forward slash CBE. Uh, And until next time to your gigging success. Mm